Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland and as we head out the door today we are tracking some colder temperatures right now right about 7 30 a.m. in those negative single digits for most of us negative 11 in Lewistown and negative 10 in Cut Bank though and we have just a little bit of wind across north and east making it feel more like those negative 20s and negative 30s but that wind at least that breeze will pick up in central Montana a little bit later this morning and the wind chill value will drop through Great Falls as well for at least the late morning hours. So today, not getting too much warmer. Actual temperatures only in those negative single digits. The only place in our area that jumps above zero is finally the capital city at five degrees. So we do track a colder day. Again, that breeze gonna make it feel much colder outside. So wind chill advisory in effect through now tomorrow morning, extended through 11 a.m. tomorrow morning with values dropping to 30 to 40 below zero possible, which means that frostbite can occur very quickly on exposed skin as well as hypothermia a hypothermia as soon as 30 minutes as you head out the door. So proper precautions need to be taken. Just bundle up out there as you head out the door. Additional snowfall that fell overnight, prompting this winter weather advisory to the southwest of the capital city. So if you're heading out to Butte or Bozeman today, this is in effect until 11 a.m. with those slick roads possible from that additional snowfall. So today, those very light snow showers move out, not expecting too much accumulation with those. North and east could see an inch or so out of these snow showers through this evening, but cloudy conditions last as we head out the door to head home from work before waking up to some sunny skies tomorrow. We will see quite a bit of colder temperatures sticking around, but we are on a warming trend and we will break above zero finally tomorrow into those teens, still well below average for this time of year, and then snow returning by Friday morning. So overall, a colder week for us as we stay below those average temperatures, but we do break above zero finally by tomorrow afternoon.